Hello, everybody. So I just want to let you know that. Did you know that the Antichrist is going to be a beast? Not a person. Where in the Bible does it say that the Antichrist is going to be a person? Type in the comments below. If you read the book of Ephesians 6.12, the mark of the beast is not in that story, but it is saying that we battle not against mankind, but the principalities, the spiritual darkness, and the rules of the world, which they are the rules of the world, which is referring to the devil and his demons. That's what it's referring to. So the Antichrist and his guys are not mankind. See, guys, when you deal with hate and anger and darkness and witchcraft and all these things, it is not man that you're dealing with. It is demons in disguise. And you must be careful. Look at Taylor Swift. She's all over the news, making headline news, and everyone's talking about her. And worshiping her like she's some god or something. What I'm here to make, let her know that she will meet her maker one day. That means she will meet the Lord face to face. Because she thinks she's God. She thinks she's... You're not supposed to put other gods before the Heavenly Father. You're not supposed to do that. Because the Heavenly Father is the only one righteous, true God that there ever is. And that there ever will be. Whether you all like it or not. Taylor Swift fans, Swifty fans, whoever you were called. I'm not a fan of her, but I'm a fan of God. And I'm a fan of the Bible. There's nothing wrong with being a fan of Taylor Swift. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is that... The thing is, guys, is that Taylor Swift is not God herself. Remember, in speaking of celebrities and the Lord... Ariana Grande, remember when she made a song called God is not a God is a woman? It seems like Ariana Grande was putting herself in the place of God because she's saying God is a woman. Ariana Grande is a woman. And she's referring to God in that way. And she's a celebrity. Remember she's the one who played the role of Cat Valentine from Victorious? And she's been in Cat Sam and Cat? And all these other cart these all these TV shows that she's been in, guys, these celebrities are trying to take the credit over God and all these other things. Whether you want to believe it or not, in a way, I'm a celebrity, but I'm not like them. I don't want to be involved in witchcraft and sorcery and all these things that no one's supposed to be involved in. We are not supposed to be involved in. Witchcraft. It is a sin. It's wrong. It's abomination unto God. And you're not supposed to do it. You're not the abomination. Taylor Swift's not the abomination. Arna Grande is not the abomination. It is what they practice. It is what they teach. It's what they it's the sin that is the abomination. The devil himself is an abomination unto God because the devil is wicked. He's the complete opposite of what God represents. See, God represents light, love, beauty, heaven, love, peace, happiness, light, but the, an eternal life. But the devil represents hate, darkness, lust, sorrow, and all these things that he represents. The devil, you got to keep that away from God, guys. Don't, don't get the two mixed up. Don't be confused, because the devil, he he's the author of confusion. He wants to be confused. But God is not the author of confusion. God does not want you to be confused about anything. He wants you to know the truth and stand by the truth and what he is. The devil is the opposite. And if you keep on getting mixed up with the wrong crowd, that's what's going to happen. You're going to be deceived. Taylor Swift is not who she claims to be, because... She's a, you know, she's a beautiful, attractive woman, and she's with a she's with a sports athlete, Travis Kelsey. Does anybody find that strange that a musician like Taylor Swift wouldn't go out with another musician, but she go out with a famous football player? I've never seen that before. You know, I've seen it on TV. I've seen it on the news. I've everyone's seen it on the news on TV, 
And a lot of you might be thinking, oh, why are they together? What's going on? I don't know, but that's only the Lord knows everything. So I just want to put this out there, guys, because this is not about Taylor Swift, but this is about what the world is coming to. We're in the last days. And Taylor Swift is playing a big part of it.